Happy Halloween, everybody. It's going to be the Halloween cruise. We are on our way back to our high school. And it's been raining all day. It's been a rainy good party yesterday, but there's a uh, pretty significant weather front coming through. And uh, been all kinds of hysteria about kids going out and trick-or-treating. And so there's a lot of uh, the Halloween festivities have been canceled for tonight. They're being postponed or moved indoors. They're going to be moved to tomorrow. Some were held yesterday in anticipation of bad weather. And uh, I, can't, I can't ever recall having Halloween canceled due to weather or rain or anything. But anyway, there's a slight chance for severe activity, high winds. That sort of thing. It's kind of like a, a spring type. You got a cold front running run it into warm uh, human air, and you know it's similar to spring, and there could be uh, some severe thunderstorm activity, or maybe even some tornadic activity. So they're putting it off, and I uh, really I can't blame them. But my kids are all fired up. Let me tell you about Halloween. They can hardly stand it. And, uh, and a couple Superman and a couple different uh, Iron Man and several vampires get on the bus today. It's really that's a lot of fun. I do like seeing the the uh, costumes. That's a lot of fun. And uh, hopefully we get through the run today without any bad weather. That's what I'm hoping for. But anyway, you know it's just water, and most of the time. When you got weather, the problem isn't with uh, driving the bus, it's with what everybody else does. You know, some people lose their minds when the raindrop hits the windshield. I know you live in parts of the country where they see a snowflake and everybody trips out. So, who knows what we'll have in store for us this afternoon. Hopefully just some light rain. Like right now, we're just having some very, very light drizzle, mist. And but the wind has picked up quite a bit, which means you got stuff blowing down into the road, things like that. And it's, I'm afraid it's going to ruin the colors because uh, the colors are beginning to reach their peak here. And if we have a real violent storm, it's liable to knock them all off the trees where you have a chance to really enjoy it. But the last couple days, especially, uh, the trees have been gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it directly in front of us, that hillside there. It's all red, gold, yellow, beautiful. I love this time of year. I don't like what it does to my sinuses, but I love this time of year as far as appearance. And I love cool mornings and uh, pleasant afternoons. You know, you just see your breath in the morning and then the shirt sleeves feels good in the afternoon. That's cool stuff. I do enjoy that. And uh, driving a tall vehicle in the wind is no fun. But I'm not on the expressway, so it doesn't really blow me around that much. I was on the expressway this morning, and there were a couple of good gusts of wind kind of pushed the bus around. But nothing too severe. When I took my DOT driver's test, you know, you have an examiner, a DOT examiner on, on board the bus with you, and you drive through a route, and they have some slayed out for you, and they test your skills. It's the first time I'd ever driven in the rain. And let me tell you, it rained. It was like the end of the world. It rained horizontally. It was so bad, traffic came to a complete stop on the uh, highway we were on for, uh, I don't know, five minutes or so. People just stopped dead in the middle of the road. Hazards on. First time I'd ever driven a tall vehicle like a school bus in bad weather like that. And it was pushing the bus around. I'll tell you what a heck of a way to get your license, but I got through it okay. But uh, I told the guy, I said I, I had never have never driven with the windshield wipers on. It was, it was all during training. It never, it was dry. You know, it was late summer, early fall, and it was dry. And uh, yeah, that was exciting. Then when I got home, I got done with my test, I passed it, and I got the documents, you know. And they, uh, I go to the, uh, the 
county clerk's office to get my DOT license. Uh, I go in there and I uh, gave my paperwork. And they took my picture. I got my license. I'm a proud owner of a CDL license. And I go home and I had a beautiful brand repair in the front yard. And uh, it was split in two. It's like a giant hand of God came out and ripped my tree dead in half. And uh, I chopped up the part that landed in the yard and uh, the other half I couldn't bear to cut it all down because it, it shaded the front of my house uh, for the better part of the day. It was nice to have. I really hated to see it get broken. But it, uh, it stood there for another year and another storm came along and knocked it down the rest of the way. So I wound up having to cut it all down. Anyway, that's a, one of my storm stories. And uh, uh, hopefully your day will get through, get through uh, okay without any storms or any damage to your home or property. And all I want to do is get the kids home before any really bad weather. It's supposed to be later on this evening, but they're wrong often. You know how they go. So I'm hoping I can get through with just nothing more than light rain, a little bit of, a little breezy, and get them home before this stuff starts. And until then, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for coming around the Yellow Bus AI channel. I appreciate it. Like, subscribe, ask a question. I'd like to get a discussion going. I always have interesting questions, and I love hearing from you guys. So i uh, talk to you all later. And as always, be nice to a bus driver. And be safe out there. I'll talk to you all later.